Fear is one of the main things that keep people from leaving their dreams. You can either leave your dreams or leave your fears. Most people, ladies and gentlemen, are leaving their fears and so they settle for less than what they can be. We are born with natural fear, that which triggers the fight and flight response to keep us safe or to help us survive. This fear charges up our system and enables us to fight or flee in cases of danger. Unnatural fear, however, is the kind of fear we learn from society and from various experiences. This kind of fear is often irrational and baseless. Natural fear can save your life, but unnatural fear can steal your life. Unnatural fear can keep you trapped in a self-imposed psychological prison. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. When your fear gets the loudest, that is when you need to unleash your most ridiculous faith. I don't know what you are up against, but what I know for sure is that you came here for a purpose and you must refuse to accept anything beneath that purpose. You must refuse to allow your story to end in any other way than what God showed you before you were born. You need to say to yourself, this is not how my story is going to end. I did not go through all of that for nothing. He did not bring me this far to leave me. I don't know how, but God is going to make a way for me. You need to expect a miracle. Faith is the opposite of fear and it relates to believing the so-called impossible. It is said that the human will is the most powerful force in the universe. Fear is also very powerful. It is a psychological disease, one that is so powerful that it has landed some people in hospital. Fear is so powerful that it can keep you from doing the things you know you should be doing. A man on his deathbed said, I am not going to die until I see so and so. And after that person showed up in the hospital, the man breathed his last. That is how powerful the human will is. Whatever you believe about yourself becomes true. The principle works both ways. If you believe the worst, you will attract the worst. But if you believe the best, you will likewise attract it. Choke your fear with faith before your fear chokes you. Convince yourself that you can and you will. Steve Harvey said, jumping is a scary thing, but if you don't jump, your parachute will never open. You will be safe with that parachute hanging on your back, but you will not experience adventure and fulfillment. See, going after your dreams is like jumping. It is scary, but unless you do it, you will never be fulfilled. Your most powerful skills and talents will remain untapped, much to your frustration. What if I jump and fall? What if my vision fails? So for most people, the voice of fear becomes louder than the voice of courage. But what if you do not fail? What if your parachute opens up just at the right time for you to succeed? Whichever voice you listen to will determine your future. If you allow fear to control your life, you will never live the life of your dreams. The most fulfilled people in the world know how to manage fear. And the interesting thing is that they too are not exempted from it. Courage is not the absence of fear, but it is feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Believe it or not, T.D. Jakes was shaking uncontrollably while holding the mic in the early days of his ministry. This is the same man who was going to later be labeled the world's most influential preacher by Time magazine. Perhaps God created you to be the greatest in your field of gifting, but you will never know unless you jump. You will never know unless you face your fears head on and go out there and make yourself vulnerable. The only way to overcome fear is for you to get into the situations you fear where you have no choice but to make it happen. If you do that, you will make it happen. Avoiding the situations you fear is not the solution. To grow and to expand, you have to challenge your fears. It is not what you are that limits you. It is what you think you are not. You are more gifted than you think. You are more capable than you think. Most of the things you can't do are not a reflection of your ability. They are a reflection of how you see yourself. The future is in your hands. Your dream is in your hands. Don't let the fear of failure or the fear of judgment keep you from doing what is going to make you great. The truth of the matter is that you have great potential inside of you, but that potential is useless until you overcome your fears and put it into practice. You have something to give to the world. When fear tries to cripple you, silence it by remembering that you possess true value which the world needs. Remind yourself that you carry something inside of you that no one else can deliver but you. Life is God's beautiful symphonic orchestra and we all possess the right notes to complete the song. If you hold on to your note, the song will not be complete. If you hold on to your note, the song will not make complete sense. I always get the sense that something is missing in this world. What if you are carrying the missing piece and you are withholding it because of fear? Someone said, before you are boxed and buried, decide you are going to box and bury your fears. Fear will always be there. 
But you're going to have to rise above it if you want to become the best you can be.